scatters when you play the beat, play the beat. A brainiac effects up. Now press me one. Did you see the title? Oh, I'm looking at the screen, but the screen might not be on yet. If I do my editing, maybe the screen will be on there. But this is beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. I've seen people out there say, no, I'm having my fucking say. Disney delays the release of 330 million live action Snow White reboot by a year and dumps those Fucking shitty woke dwarfs. I'm ad libbing a little bit after star Rachel Fuck You Zelga spark fury with woke rants against 1937 original. This is beautiful, and I need to explain the fucking reasons why this is so fucking beautiful. Because. Disney's bullshit woke fucking movement has been rocked to its core, okay? They think or thought that they were up with the whole generation's way of thinking by making remake after fucking remake. Now, a couple of things I gotta get right. I gotta get right here. The live action remakes. Do I like them? No. Do I understand why they exist? Yes. So let's just get a couple of fucking things straight here. There is something somewhere that Disney stated that after every certain amount of years that something's been released, that he or the company, he wanted re-releases of the story. So in order for new generations of children to grow up watching certain movies. Now, I understand that that's difficult because we know there are certain movies that ever so slightly need to be tweaked. I'm not saying completely fucking uh, butcher them like this and we'll get to this in a minute. But there are one or two that you think, okay, just needs a little tweaky tweak. Let's not forget that in Aladdin Arabian Nights, the song with uh, Robin Williams, there was a couple of lyrics that had to be changed ever so slightly even back then. Okay, you might not know that, you have to do your research on that, but there's certainly one or two lines that, that ever so gently had to be tweaked, and for me, rightly so. So just a few fucking tweaks here and there. But this fucking numpty, old Rachel Zegler, or whatever the hell her name is, Miss I'm Too Big For My Fucking Boots, went on a tirade of abuse for the original Snow White. Just her mannerisms and demeanor, even old Gal Dot standing next to her, old Wonder Woman herself wanted to whip her fucking face shut. One or two moments where she was like, alright, yeah, calm yourself down, little fucking mini-me. Um, and she was just spitting stuff like, uh, haha, it was the laugh. Oh, fucking hell, the laugh. Everything fucking annoyed me about that. But she was like, oh, uh, we're not. Uh, Snow White doesn't need to be rescued by Prince Charming, and she's a warrior, and da -da -da. fuck you, okay? The original Snow White was also a warrior, okay? She was a young lady that found her own power through love and friendship of new friends and singing to animals. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> you know, and pigeons appeared or whatever the fuck happened there. And then the wicked witch lady came out. I fucking know, I remember watching that around my nans on VHS. I used to always watch that. The dwarfs had character. You remembered them. And I totally appreciated the, the, the value of... Uh, some dwarf actors saying about being stereotyped towards seven dwarfs. I get that. So, so, so give them, give them, give them worth. Give them, give them more character. Give them something that that's a better script that makes you know uh, 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 the, the the dwarf acting community better parts. That Game of Thrones dudes was absolutely correct. That he probably stereotyped everything. So, so give them the worth that Game of Thrones proved that you could do with characters, regardless of genders, regardless of diversities, any any uh, disabilities or anything at all. You could create characters that I agree with. I'm all for that. But the seven wandering fucking willow magicians of the north, or whatever the fuck we called them, nobody asked for that. Did anyone see the picture? I'm not sure if it's even on it. Excuse me using a uh, Daily Mail. Oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Oh, here they are. Here they fucking are. It's like the shittest fucking band you've ever seen. you got Jesus at the back. Fuck knows what he's doing here. This dude's hat. Fuck knows what's going on here. Pirates of the Caribbean, motherfucker. Uh, I mean, what the fuck are they doing? What are they doing here? It's, it's like they just closed their eyes and selected... That's what I did. It's fucking horrific. It's horrific. 
but I did a U-turn. <laughs> It's my point. I don't know if old uh, fucking Grumpy Bollocks is still going to be in there, but I love this new picture. I love this new picture. I'm a bit frustrated that they didn't uh, go listen to the, 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 the what people were saying about, you know, dwarf actors being used. That, to me, just frustrates. Uh, maybe they'll do the voices of those actors. I don't know. I don't know. But but right here is the fact that there is a victory. That, uh, sort of. That's kind of frustrating me now that they're not using dwarf actors. Uh, I'll, get to that in a, I'll get to that in a second because I feel as though they should be. But, 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 but the whole fucking U-turn, the U-turn on the behaviours towards this woke bollocks, triggered by old fuckface here. And I'm glad. I'm glad she has been firmly put back in her place. I can't wait to see the fucking interviews with her now let's see if she's as smug as she was when she was trying to tear into the fact that prince charming savior baby. it was a love story man what the hell is wrong with you you're an idiot okay plain and simply i hope no one ever hires you again you were shit in hunger games so now you fucked up snow white but you finally seen you're not important you're not important you're not part of no woke no one gave a shit every fucking woke community looked to you and went shut the fuck up that's literally what happened. Look at a U-turn. A company as big as Disney had to fucking turn around. And they didn't turn around with the shit that they made with Lion King. They fucked that one up. Didn't you turn that motherfucker, did they? Okay, they took some abuse with The Little Mermaid. I personally agree with, with the route that they took. I haven't seen the film. I know there's some things that they've changed in there. But certainly how they were trying to include diversity. Nothing wrong with that. They didn't. They didn't. They plowed on with it. Plowed on with it. So something you did, old Rachie Zegler, go fuck yourself, okay? You fucked up. And now it's a 330 million pound turkey. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, day, ain't it? Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Don't you love it? The bit I want to give you the heads up on is, this is what happens when we all pull together with bullshit that's taking place. A company as humongous as Disney, Star Wars, buy everything up fucking body had to take a U-turn because of people like us, okay? Normal people, kind of. They had to take a U-turn. What else could we do? <laughs> we got powers like we didn't know, okay? That's fucking amazing. That should be a Disney story in itself. Netflix, snap that fucker up. Um, I love the fact that, that they're trying to say the ongoing actor stri strike is the reasons for the push. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Have you seen that, um, the meme with the dude like that? <laughs> He's looking. Bullshit. Bullshit. Has it got anything to do with the actor's strike? To start with, who the fuck are calling these actors? That's the... <laughs> I hope they got paid. I do hope they got paid. But they're not actors. I think that dude at the back just fucking joined in for the numbers. I don't think he's even meant to be there. Um... They're not actors, let's be honest. And I love the fact that they're saying around uh, uh, it's because of the strike. Fuck off. Uh, they got interviewed, showed Zegler making de derogatory claims about the original Snow White. Pfft. Chastising the main character for a dated values. That was it, dated. Not only did the 22-year-old motherfucker admit that she hated the original 1937, hated, described the prince's, the prince, sorry, as a stalker and branded the storyline weird. How was it weird? I, I mean, I mean, if anything, it showed about a lady going through a journey of all different emotions as well, which is fucking incredible given the year. It's no longer 1937. She's not going to be saved by the prince. <laughs> That's what she kept fucking doing. <laughs> Pissing me off. She's not going to be dreaming about true love. And that was the bit that was fucking her up because there was uh, men, women everywhere going, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing taking true love out of Disney, motherfucker? Okay? Maybe we want both. <laughs> I'll have her as a warrior, but why can't she have true love? Why, why, why can't she do that? And then saying it's no longer 1937. Well done, you dumb fuck. She's not going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader a late fighter told her, oh, fuck off, man. I know he's even listening to that shit. Um... Zelga, best, uh, I think it's saying best known for a breakout role in West Side Story. Oh, I thought she was in Hunger Games. Okay, she fucked up another classic then. She joked for a minute separately. She was terrified. She went on to beloved when she went on the beloved Snow White ride at Disney. Oh, yeah, she said that everyone was cheering her on. That everyone was cheering her on. They fucking weren't cheering her on. Look, I'm just saying, okay? This is a victory. This is a victory for us, and we should fucking bask in its glory. 
So, um, I just wanted to share my views and to old um, Zegler. <laughs> I like you, motherfucker. <laughs>